Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to perform noise reduction, in particular focusing on wind noise, surrounding noises, and those dreaded mouth clicks. Okay, let's get into it. And we'll start off with a common problem, particularly when you're filming on the move. You're out and about, you've got a nice mounted shotgun microphone, but you forgot the, the sock, the dead cat, and you've got wind noise rumbling away in the background, like this example. Your competition, looking at them as allies, instead of, you know. There is definitely a wind rumble there, but the good news is it's super easy to eliminate it. Let's uh, go into the effects menu, and we'll look for, under filter and EQ, the parametric equalizer. We'll set this to default, and essentially you want to switch on HP, which is high pass filter. So when we switch that on, we get an HP dot that we can move around like this. And there's a number that changes down here that is the frequency. Now, all wind rumble generally occurs below around 100 to 150 hertz. Here, we've got it at 85. And the best way to set this is start from low and move it all the way up until we hear the wind rumble disappearing. Let's try it. Your competition, looking at them as allies instead of... And right there at 245... Your competition, looking at them as... Disable that for a second. Your competition, looking at them as... Enable it. Your competition, looking at them as... Huge difference. And if you really want to hear it, we can actually disable high pass filter, put on low pass filter, move that low pass filter all the way down like that to around 245. And we can listen to... That there is the wind rumble on its own. And as you can hear, very little of the voice there, uh, but definitely a lot of wind. So let's switch that on. Your competition, looking at them as allies. And before I go ahead and apply that, I'm actually going to copy this and paste it so we can do a before and after. Uh, let's put this at the start here. So we've got this. Your competition, looking at them as allies. And then we'll go ahead and perform the noise reduction on this little clip here. So we'll go into filter and EQ, parametric equalizer. There is our high pass filter. There is our high pass filter at 245 hertz. Uh, and we just simply apply like so. Your competition, looking at them as allies. And before. Your competition, looking at them as allies. Now the next thing we got surrounding noise going on there, just general kind of stuff we don't want to be there if we want to focus on the voice. Well, this is where we can go into the effects menu. We can look for noise reduction restoration. We can go for denoise here, and it's simply a slider from zero to 100%. Uh, beware, the further you push this up, the more it will degrade the quality of the speech. So try to avoid going too high. Maybe 40% is the highest I would go. Let's try. Your competition, looking at them as allies, now you can hear that's already reducing the surrounding noises. Push it right the way up and it will make a change. Your competition, looking at them as allies instead. But you can hear it's also affected the quality of the speech. So let's bring it back down and push it up just enough to uh, make a difference. Your competition, looking at them as allies. Okay, around 32%, apply. Your competition, looking at them as allies. That's after, this is before. Your competition, looking at them as allies. After. Your competition, looking at them as allies. So there we go, with just a few simple steps, a high pass filter inside parametric equalizer, and also the denoise effect under effects, noise reduction and restoration menu, you can get a pretty clean sound from something you've recorded outdoors that didn't sound good initially. Let's move on to the next thing I want to show you in this noise reduction video, and that is dreaded mouth clicks. <laughs> they happen quite a lot, particularly if you eat chocolate and sweets and all kinds of what we'd probably say is junk food before hopping in to do a voiceover. Uh, let's have a listen to this clip and you'll probably agree there are a few mouth clicks here. With monthly office hours, live right there, and live webinars, and a library of trainings. Oh, again, right there. So uh, two points of mouth clicking here and here. And sometimes those mouth clicks can happen in the speech. So you can't simply go through and delete a mouth click um, because that would obviously ruin the sound of the audio. So how can we cure this problem? Well, and I want to show you something else. If we go ahead and compress this, which often voiceovers are compressed. So let's add a bit of compression. This is going to enhance it even more. Let's pull that threshold down, push the ratio up. Practice owners with monthly office hours, live webinars, and a library of trainings. 
you can really hear those mouth clicks. Uh, so this is where we're going to do some kind of audio forensics, some scrubbing. And we're going to, for this, we're going to need to go into the spectral frequency view right here and bring up like a heat map of everything happening in the audio. And then we're going to zoom right into where those mouth clicks are. And you'll see they're around here. And they're sort of indicated by these sort of red blotches, usually up in the high end. And now I've got this tool here. It's called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. It's kind of like Photoshop scrubbing out, but for audio. And to make this bigger or smaller, we just use the curly brackets on our keyboard. So curly brackets like that to make it smaller or bigger. Very, very simple stuff. There we go. And if we want to just hit and get rid of the noise click, we can actually, we can freeform it like that. Um, but if we want to be a little more accurate, we can like click and hold down shift and it will give us a straight line like that, straight line like that, straight line like that. And let's have a listen to that. Hours, live hours. Okay, I think you'll agree. With monthly office hours, live web. That clicking is pretty much gone. Let's just do a little bit more here and a little bit more here. Maybe just a tiny bit more here. Let's try again. Hours, live. Maybe down here as well. Hours, live hours. And just there. And now let's listen to this. Practice owners with monthly office hours. Much, much better. Let's do it again over here. More clicking, zooming in. And again, pretty easy in spectral frequency to actually spot where those clicks are. They're the kind of like uh, little icicles occurring there in spectral frequency view. Just going to make that paintbrush a little bit bigger. And then we'll paint down here. We'll paint down here. We'll paint down here. Paint down here. Sometimes you might need to do two or three passes just to make sure you're eliminating those clicks. And let's have a listen now to this bit. And a library of trainings. Still a little bit going on. So one more big pass on the end. And a library of trainings. There we go. And one more time. Ours. And a library of trainings. Wow. And then just to show you that those clicks truly have gone, we'll go ahead and put on the compressor again. It tends to enhance these things. Here's the compressor. Practice owners with monthly office hours, live webinars, and a library of trainings. There we go. Fantastic stuff. All eliminated using spectral frequency display and the spot healing brush tool. Pretty easy stuff. Practice owners. And finally, let's get rid of that one and let's move on to this one, static noise. This often occurs on old recordings, particularly cassette tape recordings, if you remember those. And this is a cassette re tape recording from the 70s, from a wedding in the 70s. Oh, dear. Make tremendous preparations for a journey. There is a priest talking there somewhere in that tape, uh, but it's hit by hiss, static, and rumble all in one. Again, we can pop open spectral frequency view here uh, to see exactly what's going on. And we can see down here in the low end, loads of yellow showing loads of rumble. Uh, so let's deal with everything in one fell swoop. Uh, now, I did show you earlier on effects, noise reduction, restoration, denoise. You can try this, but sometimes with really terrible audio like this, it doesn't work so well. And actually, it ends up degenerating the voiceover so much, you just can't hear what's being said. Uh, so instead, we'll go for noise reduction process. And before we use this, we need to capture a noise print of the noise only. So not the speech. That's very important. Not even a little breath. Otherwise, it can affect things. Just noise. There's noise. And we'll go into effects, noise reduction, restoration, capture noise print. Boom. And it says, yep, it's going to be captured and loaded as a noise print. That's what we want. Now we'll select everything. Effects, noise reduction, restoration, noise reduction process. We'll make sure that's on default. No settings changed. You make tremendous preparations for a journey. And we can actually switch on now the preview mode so we can see what's going on before and after. You can see a lot of stuff has changed already. Now we can increase the amount of noise reduction, which will then increase the amount. And what we really want to aim for here is black where there's no speech and, of course, a little bit of uh, heat where there is speech. You make tremendous preparations for it. It's doing really well, isn't it? Let's uh, reduce it by a little bit more. You make okay, that's working amazingly. Now, what you want to do, you want to focus on noise reduction percentage and also reduce by dB level. The more you reduce by, the quieter that noise is going to become. Let's leave it there for the moment. Do a couple more things. So apply that. And you'll notice here just at the start, there's a little bit of noise left in. So we're just going to delete that away. You make 
Tremendous preparations. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go into favorites. I'm going to normalize this to minus 3 dB. Pop up that uh, speech a little bit more. You make tremendous preparations for a journey. That's pretty good, but we can still hear the low end rumble, the final piece in our puzzle. Uh, so in order to make this better, I'm actually going to go into effects. I'm going to go to filter and EQ and back to that parametric equalizer with that high pass filter. Uh, so we can bring that down. And actually what we can do is uh, we can see that yellow getting less as we push the high pass filter up. Yellow will get less and less until we're happy with that. Let's push it up a little bit more. You make tremendous preparations for a journey. The rumble's rumble has gone. It's it's completely disappeared. Let's apply it, and we're going to do one final thing. We're going to go in and enhance this speech a little bit. Let's switch off preview for the moment. Let's look at that. Look at the difference it's made now. That's absolutely crazy down here. So much better. We can actually see a waveform rather than just static that was here before on this cassette tape recording. Now we'll go into effects, amplitude and compression, dynamics, and I'll add a couple of things from this effect. First of all, we'll go to default view and we'll switch on the auto gate. It's a noise gate that lets audio through above a certain level and blocks everything else out preview mode back on so you can see the difference it makes wow that's a bit aggressive let's move that threshold down a little bit so the idea is we want to move it down until we can start to see the audio coming through but not so much that we get audio coming through between the speech this should be good you make tremendous preparations for a journey not just for the beginning of it but for the journey itself there we go and then we'll add some compression on increase the ratio a little bit move down the threshold push up the makeup gain you make tremendous preparations for a journey not just for the beginning of it but for the journey itself and there we can actually hear what is being said in that church in the 70s absolutely crazy i'm just going to undo everything i did and head back to what it was before pretty much impossible to hear what's being said. So plenty of ways that you can do noise reduction there, whether it's wind removal, mouth clicks, or static hiss, hum, surrounding noise, everything is possible, all using the native tools inside Adobe Audition.